Morning boys and girls, it's Wednesday the 13th. Are you a little bit fucked? Are you drenching your towel of life with food, drink, drugs, materialistic items, technology, alcohol, more drugs, and then taking that towel and trying to wring it out to get some happiness from it? If this sounds familiar to you, then it is likely that you're not managing to get much out of it. And the ideology, this thought of solution being, we need to add more water. You know, you can't make something wetter when it's already wet. You know, more water is not the answer. If you've got a towel that's soaking wet, adding more water to it is not gonna make it wetter. And when you're wringing it out and trying to get happiness from it, and you're not getting any, adding more water is not gonna be the solution. What does this mean and what am I talking BS about? A lot of us have a lot of the essential needs that we need to be happy. We have them. Think about this as your Maslow's hierarchy of needs, yeah? We have water, we have security, we have money. You know, we're one of the most affluent societies in the world. Whilst that's not on Maslow's hierarchy directly, you know where I'm coming from with it. We have money, we have an abundance of food surrounding us. These are not the things that are gonna give you happiness and you can wring them out as much as you like, you can squeeze that towel, you can add more water, add more technology, add more alcohol, add more drugs, add more, all of these things. It is not gonna give you the thing that you're looking for. Now, why are you doing this? Because you're a religious nut. And people are like, no, nah, no, nah, Pete, I'm not religious. I'm not one of those sorts of people. I don't belong to some sort of cult. Yeah, you do. You belong to this religious cult. Now, what is a cult? A cult, ultimately, is what we're all living in right now if we choose to. You are living your life by a set of values, principles, and beliefs that guide your actions and goals and values based on a set of ideologies of the masses. You are part of a cult that upholds these values of individualism and materialism, and you scoff at those people who believe otherwise, the people that maybe meditate once a day that are really trying to add value to the world by doing something good for other people rather than comparing themselves to others rather than allowing the suffocating anxiety of the rest of the world to panic them because they're not keeping up with the joneses we can't keep scoffing at these ideas and these beliefs of self-care of self-love before you can help anyone else you must be able to help yourself love for others starts with love for yourself a healthier world starts with a healthier you. You are part of this cult. If you are watching this, it is likely you are part of that cult. It is just the boundaries of that cult lay so far beyond your vision and so far beyond the horizon, you can't even see them. Therefore, we're so deeply ingrained in it. These aspects and these beliefs and these values of materialism, individualism, technology, drugs, alcohol, sugary food, lack of self-love, lack of self-appreciation, lack of acknowledgement for others. This is what the cult wants you to uphold because you need to sustain the system because you're a good citizen, right? So my request of you today on this Wednesday, the hump day of the week is leave the cult. Yes, I know, scary, I know. Stop being the star of your own Truman show. Leave the cult. You will honestly be astonished as to how quickly these values and beliefs and this self-imposed prison will vanish. How these beliefs can diminish and wither and die because you stop believing them, you stop upholding them, you stop supporting them as a member of your current cult. Those bars, those prisons of self-creation, they will dissolve as you stop upholding those beliefs. Now I'm gonna jump into the ice bath, after which I have a date with a rather grumpy 64 kilo kettlebell. She has been in a bad mood for a few days and I'm gonna try and convince her to change her attitude. Have a fantastic day guys and I will see you soon.